Hi, I'm Mr. Casta at Mill Middle School, and you're watching West Virginia History in two minutes or less. Today's part one of my Cold War series. This one is about the 1912 strike that happened in Southern West Virginia. Here we go. From 1912 to 1927, mine wars took place in the Southern coal fields of West Virginia. Conditions in the mines were very dangerous. In fact, miners were also paid in scrip, which was company money that was only good at the company store and could no longer be spent other places, so they were forced to stay where they were at. Workers were forced to sign yellow dog contracts, saying they wouldn't join the union. Anyone fired or who tried to leave were blacklisted, so they would be unhirable at other local mines. This brings us to Kanawha County where Paint Creek and Cabin Creek were located. The strike began on April 18, 1912, when 8,000 walked off their jobs as it had spread to nearby Cabin Creek. Coal operators rejected their demands and brought in 300 Baldwin Feltz detectives who were basically hired thugs to break up the unions and evict the miners from their homes. In fact, 35,000 people were living in what's called a tent colony during that time period. Tired of being bullied, ambushed, shot at, miners decided they were going to fight. On February 7, 1913, miners from the Tent Colony in Kanawha County fired on a company-owned ambulance and store. That night, the Kanawha County Sheriff, a coal operator from Paint Creek, deputies, mine guards, and the CNO Railroad's police loaded up on an armored train fitted with machine guns they called the Bull Moose Special. In the darkness, they rode by the Holly Tent Colony and fired at people's tents while they slept. Several were wounded, including one man, Sesco Estep, who died of his wounds. Two days later, miners retaliated, killing 16 at Mucklow. Mother Jones, the famed union leader, was arrested and later released by the new governor, Henry Hatfield. On April 25th, Hatfield told the miners to accept the settlement to end the strike. Pink Creek accepted it, and later in July, Cabin Creek did as well. The area remained fairly peaceful for about six years as the U.S. became involved in World War I. Thousands of weapons were taken from both sides by the National Guard, and it's estimated that the strike itself cost millions. Paying the miners the 15 cents per day would have been a lot cheaper. 